Robert DeLeo, Stone Temple Pilots. Look at you on my screen. Wow, man. Stoked to see you. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. You're looking good, bro. Ah, uh, trying. <laughs> <laughs> this year and a half pandemic been treating you. Obviously very, very well, it looks like. Well, uh, lots of ups and downs and uh, kind of missing um, playing music. Of course. You know, as we all are missing, seeing it, hearing it. Yeah. Live, man. It's finally starting to open back up and I'm, I'm stoked about that. Me too. Me yeah. Too. Yeah. Full disclosure. I am a huge fan of yours and your band since the beginning. Um, Stone Temple Pilots. I, I caught you guys probably. Uh, well, the first time out of many over the years was at the Castaic Lake show north of Los Angeles, uh, 93, July 93 with butthole yeah. surfers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, do you, what do you remember about that game? Uh, a lot of chaos, <laughs> a lot of chaos. Yeah. Outdoor you know, we were, ranger. We, were, we, it was, you know, anytime you're playing with the butthole surface, it's going to be chaos. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the rumor that's been floating around forever was that at that show is uh chief butthole. Gibby Haynes had turned Scott onto some future nasty habits. Is that folk rock lore true at all? I mean, well, I think that uh, forever, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat what I just said. Anytime. It was <laughs> chaos. <forever>. Okay. <laughs> chaos. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You've been one of my favorite bass players. Uh, I think you're, you're one of the coolest looking bass players on stage. Um, just your whole demeanor, your whole personality with the aviators, you get your neck up in the air. I mean, it's you, it's Tom Peterson, a cheap trick, Ross Valerie, old school journey guy. You, yeah. you all kind of inhabit that space for me. You know what I mean? Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Well, I'm in, I'm in good company. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. The reason we are rapping today, you've got a, a big milestone coming up. Actually, it was earlier in March, uh, the 25th anniversary of Tiny Music Songs from the Vatican Gift Shop, uh, SDP's third record. Yes. What, uh, what was the thinking behind that album title, First Out? <laughs> uh, you know, we, we, uh, it started with these, uh, these letter, these word magnets we had on the uh, refrigerator of, oh. of the house we were renting to do the do the record okay and uh my my brother dean had uh just put those two words together tiny music and it kind of stuck right. and uh scott i think suggested uh songs from the vatican gift shop so um wow you know, kind of all it's stuck. that easy kind of all stuck yeah it's kind of like David Bowie's uh, way he used to write songs, right? A word on this paper, a word on this paper, and he'd, he'd arrange it for a verse, kind of. It worked for him. <laughs> <laughs> so this Friday is uh, when it's coming out. Three disc, one LP, deluxe edition, remastered version, the original album, alternate versions, different mixes, a bunch of the songs on it, and a whole show from Panama City, 1997, too, included. Yes, yes. That show I remember well. Oh. I, I ate... Uh, I ate bad crawfish after the show <laughs> and uh, had things coming out of me both ends for the plane ride home. Oh, that'll happen. I'm from New Orleans, so I know all about bad crawfish and uh, bad yeah. seafood in general. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you also to... celebrated uh, another milestone, the Purple Album, a few weeks ago, I guess, with the 27th anniversary on Eric Kretz's 55th birthday. I think it was the same day, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. What, yes. uh, what do you remember about... Leading up to the third record, I mean, Core, 92, uh, 94, Purple, and then Tiny Music, 96. I, I, what I remember, it was a volatile time in the studio for the band making that record. Yeah, it was such a whirlwind of stuff. I mean, we just, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, I was the one who kind of initiated, we go to a house to kind of keep us all in one place, in one space. And uh, I was I was falling in love with uh, Santa Barbara and, uh, the Santa Inez Valley at the time and uh, just had a, had a, had a person looking, a location person looking at houses. And we picked this great big, huge mansion on a hundred acres and the guy didn't move in yet. And uh, you know, so we, we, we inhabited that place and just kind of took it over and brought in all of our equipment. I've always enjoyed making records and always, you know, looked up to the records that were made in, in houses, it's just a it's just a cooler vibe to wake up and go down and get into it rather than drive through Los Angeles. Sure. <laughs> yep. Yep. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I used yeah. to work in studio recording studios, too, in L.A. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. dealing with that, I mean, it kind of you kind of lose your creativity 
on the way in, having to deal with all the outside nonsense, you know? Yeah, well, rather than hearing all the stories about the traffic when you get there, you're ready to, you know, actually. Right. Record, so. Sure. Were the songs written in the house or, or did you do pre-production beforehand for Tiny You know, we did pre-production beforehand in the house. Um, oh, okay. And, uh, you know, we kind of set up in the living room of the house. And like I said, the house was, the house was huge, huge house. So it was like, a, you know, a, 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 a a playground, you know, for us to kind of <laughs> set up in. And, uh, nice. you know, we were working stuff out as we went along in the house. Do you improve? Okay. There. Yeah. Was it you and your brother Dean bringing the basics of the songs together? I mean, you're the, the way your walk in bass lines fit under his big, huge open chords on, on all of STP songs just work perfectly. It's your trademark awesome. sound to me, you. you know? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you know, we just uh, we're we're throwing throwing things against the wall and see what was going to stick. And uh, um, I remember Eric coming in with uh, "Tripping on a Hole," and then we kind of love that song. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, just all got together in the room and see what happened. You know, sometimes you, if you're on the road or you're you you haven't played together for a while, it's 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 kind of nice to get together and go, hey, look what I've got, and let's see what you've got. And, <laughs> You know, right, kind, of, kind right. of put it all together. Did Scott write the lyrics and the melodies in the house with you guys after you could bring him this whatever song? He did. He yeah. did. He was uh, he was he was a little behind. But, you know, we were we were kind of, you know, getting getting the songs together. And, um, you know, you're really kind of trying to just uh, write songs that are going to, you know, accommodate what he's going to put on there. Um, and that's a collaboration. You know, but, um, mm. you know, he was writing as we were going along. Yes. You mentioned tripping on a hole in a paper heart. That was the second single off the record. Big Bang Baby was the first. And then and then I think the third was Lady Picture Show. Right. Yes. Yes. That song. I used to be on KLOS in L.A. and uh, and KNAC. But we would play. We played the hell out of tripping on a hole in a paper heart. And oh, still to this day, it's one of my favorite Stone Temple pilot songs. You know, one of my favorite bass lines. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's uh, it's so killer. The, the whole the whole song. So Friday is the uh, the reissue, the remastered version coming out. Tiny music songs from the Vatican gift shop. Um, we're celebrating Robert Leo and STP and and your new singer, of course, too. He's been in the band Jeff Gut for uh, what, four years now. Yeah, was your last, your seventh record, your last album from a few four years. years. Yeah, has it been four years already? Wow. Well, I I don't really count the last two. Yeah, of course you can't. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's kind of a black hole that just sucked everything out of everything. Yeah. 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 Or do you have plans to uh, hit the road? Is everything up? Yes. Your- yes. Okay. <laughs> <I can't wait. laughs> yeah. It's great because our, our first show is is up in Sturgis. So Dude, I'm, I'm going to be there. It's a great way to kick off not being able to play those songs for two years now. Are you playing the Buffalo Chip Campground? Or are you playing yes. Full Throttle? Or Oh, you are? Yes. Yeah. I'm riding out. Yeah. I'll, I'll see oh, you guys man, there. Great. Yeah. great. Have you ever played Sturgis before? Yes, I have. Okay. That was what, a good what do you think of the whole biker, uh, you know, thing? It's amazing. You know, yeah. everybody's there to have a good time. And it's a yeah. great way to kind of kick off not playing for a while and going out there and, and doing it, you know? You're going to go over big with the biker crowd, as usual, obviously. Oh, yeah. man, you know. I mean, the song, the songs are just timeless, you know? I mean, congrats on all of your success and, and, Thank you. and making your mark and uh, the, the catalog of music that you've given us over the last coming up on 30 years, you know? Oh man, I'm just passing it on what I learned. Right on. Yeah. That's cool, man. Well, thank you. Thanks for rapping with us, Robert. Robert Lair, FTP. Uh, Get your hands on the Friday edition of Tiny Music Songs from the Vatican Gift Shop. Lots of extras, lots of remastered original and and everything else that live show from Panama City included too, so. Thank you so much, brother. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, All right, brother. Yeah, have a good day, man. You too, man. See you out there in Sturgis. Yeah, I'll see you there. All right, man. (laughs) Cool. Cool, man. See you, brother. See ya.